recycle, we should be live again. We'll see. Looks like it's done broadcast. Yep. Open a box. Okay. Shareable link. Open this one up. Paste and go. Hit that mute. Still hit. Okay. Good deal. All right. Welcome back to the second ones. We need to re pin that. Make sure YouTube understands the game they are playing. Okay. So. Pull this one out. Real excellent top quality wrapping. <laughs> well, well presented. You know, ladies talk about something. Do what? Yeah, well, uh, it's not unusual. So yeah, great marketing on this box, but so you know this is something I've not done yet. I thought it would be interesting um to see here. To see how this would roll, so to speak. So I ordered one of these units. Kind of open it up a little too far and see if you can guess what it is. Of course, you've probably already seen it a little bit, but that's our first bag of stuff out of it. Second little bag of stuff out of it. Here's the motor plate, motor mount plate, I'm thinking. Third bag out of it, which is a bag of carbon fiber parts and some body posts big foam bumper another bag of parts pinion or uh, pinion looks to be like a 27 tooth somewhere in there body foot bolts and then the major part Maybe see a little bit of the shadowing there. What it could be. And what it is. Is a 3 Racing Sakura D5 RR Pro clone. Not a 3 Racing rig. This is a clone of a 3 Racing rig or the RR Pro. Which 3 Racing is no longer selling. I took a look and tried to find it. Um, they do not have the Pro. And instead of the beveled gear rear end, this is belt drive on this one. Um, carbon fiber, everything. As you can see in the video, everything's carbon fiber except for, you know, some parts obviously. Got aluminum rear arms being the Pro version. Um, aluminum hinge pin captures being the Pro version. Uh, like I said, belt drives got aluminum hinge pin capsules up front, the aluminum um, steering Ackerman arm, um, stock plastic A arms up front, and then your other you know higher end parts and stuff. But it's all stock, like in the A arms, upper and lower front A arms, um, plastic pieces, carbon fiber shock tower front, cantilever shock tower, and aluminum body shocks. So this is the upgraded unit. Aluminum motor mount on the rig here in the back. So, this is their three racings clone version. Now, this, the three racing RR Pro, was like 400, 350, 475 bucks. Quite a pricey little package. You know, three racing isn't known as a high end company, but they have been really moving and improving over the last decade or so that they've been around 
um, to where they were just parts and pieces for stuff, and now they're doing their own rigs. This is a company, knock them off, it's kind of funny, Chinese company knocking off Chinese companies. But again, 3 Racing isn't no longer selling this thing. You can find a few of them here and there, but they're pretty pricey to get. So when I ran across this originally, it was on Amazon, and the price was like $159. And instead of red, it was the purple one. So all the stuff was purple and all the pieces parts were purple. Um, started looking around. I found these clones, which that purple one was a clone too. Um, then they, the, you had the option of the purple and the black with a little bit of red back here. So that's the one I went. Don't mind the purple, but it's not a purple I like. I like a darker, more royal purple color. That's kind of a hot pink purple, and I'm not too fond of that color. Kind of a hot HPI purple, and again, more hot pink than purple, and I prefer the purple. But, yeah, this is the other one, which is, like I say, the knockoff clone of the three racing unit. Um, has excellent steering ability right here, and, you know, and there's the things you got to do for your um, adjustments a little bit. But, yeah, this thing actually makes it really nice. I got to smooth it out. It needs a little work. and get smoother as, of course, the... Uh, suspension is done. So I got to do some trimming, do some oiling, lubricate. Goodness, got the hiccups. Lubricating and get this thing done. And I did grab another set of wheels that I've got for it. Um, they were like eight bucks or something like that. All Star Hobby cheapy wheels for a little drift rig. But I thought this would be fun because, you know, slash and four wheel drive slash and you're drag slashes or drag um, no prep rigs uh, you can get them drift a little bit a lot of people with four wheel drives which truly isn't drifting it is but it's not you know what would be considered high end professional drifting because that's rear wheel drive only trying to control that front end you know is the trick with rear wheel drive with four wheel drive you've got that front end's always pulling so it's always keeping it out in front of the rear wheel drive a little bit of overdrive up front to really keep it out front there um or overdrive in the back to kind of make it want to pass the front a little bit so there's ways of tricking that but yeah i wanted to go with the two wheel drive system i got a four wheel four by four slash it drifts really good you know they got all the acumen in it but i wanted to drift rig See what I'd get in, but I didn't want to jump into a Yakomo or a uh, MST and you know, pay a little bit higher money. I'm going to be close to that by the time I get done with this. I could probably buy the Yakomo RTR um, for the price when this one's all done after I get done with body and everything else. But I like building. Of course, it's already built. I will be buying and upgrading parts on it. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be. Um, Price here. There's an upgrade package that gives you aluminum arm pieces, upper and lower, um, aluminum shock tower parts, aluminum carriers in the rear and knuckles up front. Um, what else is you get a different aluminum bulkhead front and rear, I think, in it. If not, a few other pieces. So I may just pick and choose a few pieces out of that kit. Um, and then, you know, the aluminum Ackerman piece, pick that up, pick up the bulkheads so I can kind of strengthen everything up a little bit. But I thought I'd just do, a, you know, like say a couple quick box openings because I haven't done nothing yet with this. Um, this just came in an hour or two ago in the low CG box opening, bag opening I just did. That came in on Thursday, I believe it was. So both of them about 14 to 16 days shipping out of China. So they both came airmail, so that's actually very good. I, I'm very impressed with how uh, how quickly they did ship. Um, I was a little concerned about this with AliExpress because people have had issues, especially over in Europe. Some issues here in the States too, obviously. Not terrible, but there has been some problems where it's not quite been right for people. Um, they've, you know, lost stuff and everything else, but no, it showed up today, 14, 15 days later, I over ordered this on December 26th. So what, you got a week from the 26th to the 2nd, five days, yep, 
to the second, and then today's what the seventh, eighth, eighth. So yeah, fourteen, sixteen days. That's not too bad from China to the United States in Michigan. Um. So yeah, pretty much that's the rig. I'm real eager to get you know this one going and put together as well. Um, because it's winter here, I ain't outside doing much crawling because it's winter here, and I could probably find some place inside to go play with this somewhere. I can do that crawling too, but it's a lot farther away. This I just need a open area that's got a smooth floor. Smoother the better. So yeah, I'm gonna celebrate and enjoy my little uh thing i just lit up here this is a little celebratory hey this is a pretty nice set of unboxings oh yeah a beautiful thing like i said with this thing now yeah i finished that up they're about 150 130 you got looking around you can find them a little cheaper i found them um on aliexpress the u.s site they got a u.s based site so it's everything in english for a hundred and seven dollars and they had a coupon on it which pretty much covered the taxes i think i paid 110 total out the door 111 bucks to get it to my door <coughs> considering the 150 for most of the rigs same thing on ebay now on ebay these are yeah 150 180 200 bucks you can find the actual d5 rr pro from a seller in japan for 480 bucks I like the idea of the belt drive being a little bit quieter and then the uh, mixed bushings, but I may buy this stuff and actually throw the free racing bevel gear set up in there to have the option to see which one works better. But overall, yeah, $111 for this one chip to the door, which is a really, really fair price in my opinion. But to considering the amount of work, you know, the aluminum arms had to be um machined and then oh it's anodized and then machined again to get the recess bevels showing all the colors so yeah there's you know a bit of machining on all these pieces because they got a, a second step bevel after the anodizing process quick openings i'll probably gonna start doing some assembly on the low cg chassis here as i said in my last video i'll probably turn around and do a little bit of assembly while i'm checking in at kurt's later on tonight got to get some dinner going making lasagna so gotta get some hamburger cooking here real quick so i can get it in the oven in the next half hour but i figured i'd take a few minutes at least and try to open this puppy up and do a quick little YouTube uh, unboxing. <coughs> They've been giving me crap over my comments. I'm sure a lot of you folks have been seeing that, where they're trying to, you know, do this whole, whole social social justice warrior. <coughs> where, oh, you were mean and abusive. Oh, you were bullying people because you call them a stupid idiot because they're, well, a stupid idiot. What are you going to do? People are stupid. You got to call it out. Oh, I hurt somebody's feelings. Well, too bad for you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and kill this one now. Thanks for showing up. Hit that like, share, and subscribe if you would. I'd appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you in the next video as I start getting this bad boy rolling together sooner or later. Take care.